Hello, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk and today we're going to complete the eye. This is the third part of the element series, Painting of a Cut, where we've been concentrating on the eye. So if that's something you've been following or something you'd be interested in following, please stay with me and after a short introduction, you can join me in the studio. Nice. Hello and welcome and thank you very much for joining me in the studio. As you can see, we've got the final part of the eye coming up. Yes, this is exciting. I broke it down over several series because I want to do the eye, the nose and the fur uh, because I think it's important that we concentrate just on specific elements to start with. Um, as an intermediate or a beginner, then it's, it's, a, it's, it's a lot easier to break things down into little bites. That's how you eat an elephant, a little bit at a time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I thought, let's finish the eye. Now, we, we've put some um, undertone colour in there. Uh, so we need to lighten the actual eyeball itself and just make it look glassy, bring it to life. And this is exactly what we're going to be doing in the finished piece. Now, we're going to be using the same colours, the same type of brushes. So I'm not going to go down that road. We're going to go straight into the palette and we're going to start work on this eye and see if we can get it completed. So without further ado, let's get and do that because I don't want to run this over I want to make this the last one on the eye and hopefully at the end of this we can draw the nose out as well ready for the next one so I'm excited I don't know about you so let's get painting as you can see we um, I've got no paint on a palette at the moment <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna put a little bit of that I got a last bit of Van Dyke Brown I'm just gonna squeeze a bit of that out you could save this but I tend to just get as much out of these little tabs as I possibly can. I'm just gonna put a little bit of raw sienna out. Not a lot, because I'm not gonna be worried too much about the fur. I'm just concentrating on the eye today. I'm putting a bit of hooker's green out. It's the, it's the green you want to actually worry about. Don't worry about those two colors there. I'm just putting them out just in case I need to add a little bit into the eye. Um, I'm getting some titanium white again. I'm just going to drop a little bit of that just by there. I'm putting all my paints in a line today just to make life a bit easier for myself. So you don't have to set a palette out in any specific manner if you don't want to. That's a bit of Mars black. Okay, so <clears throat> I put a bit of my uh, medium mix flow improver type of mixture there together. Just wetting my palette as you see me do in every series. <coughs> I got a bit of a, a tickle in my throat today. Um, I'm bringing a bit of green in and I'm bringing a bit of white to that. I'm just going to bring that down in a value. There you go. Bring a bit more, um, a bit more green in there. Quite a fluid mix, and as I said, with the um, the medium mix in flow improver that we made, um, it does make life a lot easier because there's a lot more stuff in that than just water, and that allows us to actually thin the paint down below the 45% rule. I'm just putting my things on my arm, stop my sleeves getting in the paint. There you go. So they actually hold my sleeves up and let's have a look now at um, the eye itself so okay looking at the eye I'm just gonna get a, a small a very small number one detail brush and I'm going into my my lightest mix I'm getting myself comfortable because I move my chair about I'm using my mark stick um, for the simple reason is I want the, to to rest my hand and I want to bring in a little bit of color into the eye now. Forget that, that, that part there is going to be in shadow. 
So let's just build in a little bit of light. Just little strokes. Like that. And I'm getting my, this is a number eight actually, it's a number eight detail brush. And I just moistened it a little bit and I'm just gonna blend that through like that. This is gonna be the lightest part of the eye. I can just take that off like that. Um, <clears throat> just getting a reference photo out now. So I want to get a little bit of the raw sienna, I think, into this. I didn't think I'd need it, but obviously I might. So I'm just going to bring in a little bit of colour. Try not to spoil the, the black that we've already put in place. And just now, your cat's eye might be different color. You can you can paint whatever whatever color eye you want. So I'm just going to go into the bit of darker green now. And I'm going to just put a little bit of contrasting color here and there, and there and here. A bit of dark there. And the eye we'll actually do on the other cattle most probably different. But I want you to practice this technique. Because an eye is, is not just green. It's, it's all different types of green and pigments and stuff. And you want to try and get that as accurate as you possibly can. I just dried my brush off. I'm just trying to mix all that together very lightly, like that. If you can hear a little bit of noise, the children are playing in the garden again, and not my children, obviously, and because uh, my children are in their thirties now, so you know, we're, I would be worried if they were playing in the garden. And um, but you can see what I'm doing. I'm building up little bits of dark in between the little bits of light. I'm just trying to get that. To look like it's some sort of a an eye, an iris, and I'm sharpening up the edge of that. That purple now. And this is by no means an easy task. A very, very small touch. Just a minute, very minute, small amount of white pink on the edge of my brush and I'm just going to put a little dot just there like that and that's all I'm doing for the moment and I'm going back into the mid-range green I'm trying not to add any more water to my paint if I can help it and I'm just going to put a few little more squiggly little wiggly lines around like this As I'm waiting for that to dry and washing my brush, I'm picking up a bit of my Van Dyke brown. I apologise if I said in the morning, uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, um, earlier in the video that you didn't need this, but I changed my mind, as I inevitably do. I'm just going to bring in a little bit of Van Dyke brown down that line there, and a little bit there and there, and I think I'll just put a little bit just on the brow there, like that. And then maybe a little bit here. Washing my brush, taking the paint off my brush, the moisture off my brush again, going into some black. Bringing a little bit of black over. Picking a bit of the Van Dyke brown up and I'm mixing it in with the black so I get a nice dark brown. Of a shade, I should say. And I'm just gonna go back in just underneath that iris, uh, eyelid, iris, iris. And I'm just gonna come back in around there like that. And 
and just think when you're doing this think of the shape think of the shape now we want it darker in there so let's go into pure black I am washing my brush I'm not worried about washing my brushes because I want these colors to ming mingle picked up a little bit of moisture on my brush and I'm just going back in pure black because I want that nice dark area there and you can spend a long time just on eyes and whatnots. So a bit of white, mix that into that. Bit of Van Dyke Brown, bring a bit of that into there. Let's get that dirty look, that color. Let's just put a little bit of brownie gray type of effect there. A little bit there, like that. Washing my brush, taking the moisture off my brush, going straight into black. And I want to darken this area there. And then I'll bring that area like that. That's going to come down like that. That's going to come across there like that. Washing my brush, going into a number, what number is this, number, number, what number is it? It looks like a number five, I'll say a number five. I'm just going to pick up some black, twisting it to a point, taking some off on my cloth, and then I'm just going to go across again, put that shadow in, like that. Washing my brush, take all the moisture off my brush onto some kitchen roll and I'm just going to pull that down just to give that appearance and then a bit more black, let's darken up that area there, a bit more black, but not enough, just not quite enough on my brush then. Not worried about the fur, we can concentrate on, on fur again. But we've had a little bit of a practice with it so far. Okay. I think what that what that eye is missing now is maybe we should have bring brought in let's get a bit of yellow. So I'm gonna go for a lem a lemon yellow because I know it's a little bit transparent. This is any this one I'm using is. Um don't worry if you haven't got a lemon yellow. Yellow 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 yellow. Don't worry if you haven't got a lemon lello. Just use whatever lello you've got. And just a nice thin wash of lemon yellow. And let's just put a little bit of, that's a bit thin. Over thinned it a little bit. Let's just put a little bit of lemon yellow or a bit of cardamom yellow light. Or even a bit of medium, it doesn't matter. Let's just I just trying to make that eye look a little bit going back into the light green now. And I'm just trying to pick up these little flecks that you see in these eyes of a cat. I took the took the paint off my brush and flattened the brush to a to a flat edge then and I'm just lightly rubbing that through like that and then going back into the dark green once more and then I'm just gonna put the dark green in just flinging it little, 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 tiny little lines like this, look, like tiny line lines, like tiny little, tiny little lines coming outwards, like that. So a multitude of colours in the eye, a multitude of colours, and just increase the black again. 
under the eye there. On there. I'm just going to get that very thin black, like a wash. I'm going to go over this grey area there like that and what I'm going to do now I'm going to if I've switched this on which I haven't I normally always get to do that and I'm just going to put air dryer on that picking up my number number five yes number five a bit more lemon yellow or cardamom yellow medium or light um, if you want a, a nice bright uh, yellow add a little bit of white to it and again I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in the eye like that just to make it zing a little bit and I'm coming down the corner of the eye there of the iris just to give it a little bit of a a little bit of a lift a little bit of a lift there a little bit there as well just to make it look something and I'm going into a little bit of white with a very very small touch of black to it so it's a, like a very pale grey and I'm just going to put a a bit of a bit in the corner there and I'm just gonna tiny little dots then down here like that <coughs> just gonna flick out like that What's always good at this point is to get a little bit of blue. Now, I normally do this. I'll get, I'll get um, let me get a little bit of, I've got a little bit of processed blue here. But any blue will do. Um, you need a nice light blue for this. Any blue will do. You can see it's only a tiny bit I put out. And um, let's get a little bit of moisture into that paint and then let me get my mark stick again. There we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit of just a little bit of blue on the eye there, like that. And a little bit of bit of white, just a touch of white on the brush, just to like as if it's just a reflection of a sky. In the eye, there they are, like that. It just adds that little bit of depth to the eye, and I'm increasing our black again, going into the paint now quite thickly. I'm just increasing our black again there, like that. I'm picking up a bit of grey, and I'm just going to bring that eyelid down, like that. I mean, not worried about fur at the moment. It's the eye we were looking at. I'm going to get a bit more lemon yellow now. I'm going into lemon yellow again. And then I'm just going to increase the brightness into the eye. There, down that edge there again. A little bit there, reflective eye right there. Just put a little bit here and there. And it's starting to look glassy, so we dry it again. Now the key, the key to a really good eye is glazing medium. Yes, people, it's glazing medium. That's the key to a good eye. So we need to put a little bit of that down. But there, like that. And the first thing I'm going to do with a glazing medium is just get a nice soft brush. Just go into it neat. And then I'm just going to go over the eye, not the shadow bit, just the eye, just the eyeball itself. Just going to put that there like that. 
and then just a little bit down on the, the bottom eyelid. Now if I wasn't going to varnish um, this paint in and I was just going to leave it say a matte or something like that. Now I could, a matte, I could matte varnish a paint in like this but I would always put a nice little bit of glazing medium just in the eye and a little bit on the nose. When we come to do with the nose I'll show you exactly what I mean. Why? Because it just gives that glassy look um, to that eye. So we're going to dry that off again. <coughs> now using the same brush, take, um, <coughs> excuse me coughing, but I've just got over a, a quite a nasty um, chest infection again. Now, Get in a little bit of that lemon yellow, mix it with some of that glazing medium look, like that. So you can you can you can mix, you can mix a little bit of colour with glazing medium to give you a glaze, and then we go over that again. Then with just that, not the black. Don't go over the black. Just on the on on the green bit, and then we can glaze that eye with a little bit of that lemon yellow. What it's going to do is going to, it's going to show through. It's going to shine. That lemon yellow is going to shine through. It's just going to brighten up that area. Maybe put a little bit too much on there, Clive. But we can always move it about. Try not to go over that black if you can help it. What we'll do with our black now? We'll get a bit of grey. All right, and then we'll go into this corner there like that. Just put a little mark there like that. Take the paint off your brush, smooth it in. Give it, and then pick up a bit more pure black then. And then just, if you've gone over it a bit mad with a gray like I just did, just, just, just leave a hint of gray in that pupil like that. And then just put that little of a tear duct type of thingy there. And dry it once more. Let's just pull that shadow back down over the eye. Bring a little bit of blue back in. Bring a little bit of blue back in there like that. Put a bit of blue over there because there's always going to be a little bit of reflectiveness around you and there. Put a little bit of blue over there. I guess if it's just catching underneath the eye. There you go. What else can we do? Let's um, go back into our very small brushes, pick up a little bit of tiny white and let's put a little bit of our highlight on the eye. And we'll just dry that off and I think that's all we need to do as far as this stage is concerned. So all that's just about done. Now you can continue glazing um, on that eyeball there and um, it'll shine even more. So all we need to do is leave that lesson where it is. So there you go. If you can have a look at that, it looks quite shiny. You should be able to see it reflecting. There you go. This is on quite a big scale, obviously, um, but I would mark varnish it and just put a little bit of highlight. Once I got that varnished, uh, 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 um, what they call it? Glazed, yes. Once I got that glazed and, and looking as, as natural as I could possibly do it, I'd mark varnish it and then I'd go over it again. Uh, but I wouldn't mark varnish over the actual eye, eyeball itself because I want it to look as if it's popping out. And, It'll always follow you, that eye. 
So that's the I part of the cat complete. I'm happy. I hope you are happy. That's part three. Now, what we need to do is look at the nose. So we need another 20 centimeter canvas panel. So we'll put the lie up there for now. And I've got one ready. So I've actually drawn this out. Now, obviously you don't have to worry about drawing if you don't want to draw. But this is what we're going to be working on in the next lesson. Again, it's a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter canvas. Um, I'll zoom in on this now and I'll also put a link um, in the, um, the Klaus 5 Art family page and it'll be there in the albums if you want to download the, the uh, actual image of the nose or you can go onto my website and I'll make sure I'll put access of the two images that I'm using now there so you should be able to download them from there just need to find the link it should be um, I'll make a proper I think a page in there and I'll put you in the right direction the links will be below when this is um, up and running so that'll point you in the right direction where that's going to be and um, yeah so if you get yourself a 20 centimeter uh, uh, canvas and gesso it and trace this image out this is the actual thing that we're going to be doing next which is the nose as you can see it's quite a simple drawing it's just a little curve around and the nose we, we've, we've discussed this on a, on a triangle so I've actually did that we were going to bring him around like that this is roughly about actual size there's the bottom of the mouth there that's the mouth there's the where the whiskers are going to come out of so what we're going to do we're going to paint the nose next so that won't be long that sh we should be able to get that done in one lesson and then w the next lesson after that then we're going to be actually looking on the fur because i want to take this to the completion stage which is going to be and i've already drawn it out as you can see that is actually going to be the cat that we're going to be working on so um yes there we are. Yes. So without further ado, my name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk. Um, I hope you can use the time and practice these three lessons to completion because it is important that you practice these type of things because trust me, once you get used to painting an eye and a nose and a mouth, and you can, you can paint a pet. It's not a problem. The fur is one of the most difficult things to master, but I'll show you an easy way at least then you can practice, 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 and that's what most people do. So, yes, please spend some time with the eye before you move on to the nose. That's that's what I uh, that's what I recommend. And um, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. My name is Clive, Clive from Clive'sArt.co.uk. Um, have a good day, a good week, a good month, a good year, because I don't know when you're going to be watching this as time is relative on YouTube. I'm about to cough. One second. <coughs> Um, I shouldn't be in the studio tonight. I got a really, really bad chest. But that's my problem. Don't worry. I will still be here for the next lesson. And um, thank you very much for watching. As I said, please check out the links below. There's a little um, button by there. If you press that, cards will come down. Um, that'll take you into my um, website and into some um, other videos as well. Um, all my videos you can find are on my webpage. So please follow the link to clivesart.co.uk. Also, I'd like to ask you to take some time and visit the Patreon site. Again, the links are by there and the links are below. And that's a public funded site where I get support from yourselves and the public um, to come and help me, support me, basically for as little as a dollar a month. That's 25 cents a week. And that in me helps me gain um it's the most important a com community a community com a community and commodity within the studio and guess what that is time because if it's not if i haven't got the time i can't invest it in to the paintings and lessons so every penny counts so if it's as little as 25 cents a week then please help i appreciate that um, there's a video in there, please have a look, and there's also a, a write-up as well, so you can have a little read of that. And there's a load of free stuff on there, and if, obviously, um, it goes up in stages, so that'll be self-explanatory, and there's a lot of freebies as well, you know, and perks and that type of stuff, and free videos, and they're not currently on YouTube, I make them specifically for Patreon. So, um, yeah, please have a look at that. So I'm going to waffle, yes, I'm going to stop waffling, Clive. Um, I've got to go in and get some... Um, 
get some cough medicine and get some stuff in my chest because my voice is starting to get a bit deeper now. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, Clive's art got to go co do got UK. Not easy talking in that voice. It's my throat. Yes, <laughs> I gotta go. Bye bye.